Scranton, Pennsylvania Bishop Joseph Bambera offered yet another mass for abuse victims. But just like last year's mass, victims weren't invited. Church Milton's Dr. William Mahoney explains what happened. I heard the voice of On April 7th, Bambera held a healing mass for survivors of clerical sex abuse at Scranton's Cathedral of St. Peter. Although April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month, none of the victims of clerical abuse were invited. At a weekday mass held last year, Bambera offered similar sentiments. To the survivors who join with me this day, I again apologize for the pain that has been inflicted upon far too many of you by leaders in our church. Scranton abuse survivor Michael Bauman responded to last year's mass. We are relegated to a Thursday matinee stunt. That seems to sum up the quality of the bishop's resolve in addressing the raping of children and vulnerable adults by priests and other diocesan employees. Bauman opined victims should have been present at this year's mass. They should stand silently in the pews to let the bishop know we are here and we are not buying his brand of false contrition. According to Bauman and others, this mass is nothing more than theater. From the diocese's official June 2020 statement on the Rossi probe. Last year, Church Militant reported on several instances where Bambara has either covered up for abusers or was slow to act on them. Bambara was forced to sell $27 million in assets in recent years. Unfortunately, cover-up bishops like Bambara are common in the U.S. He and other bishops refuse to speak out against clerical sodomites, and most abuse victims are male. William Mahoney, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. Be sure to go to churchmilitant.com to watch our special reports involving Bambara titled The Scranton Cesspool and PA Predator on the Prowl.